I wanted to do a video up front to explain more about painting this guy. Um, I actually put him in a mat and framed him myself, and he's hanging in my home. I like him. And it's just a reminder to me, and it's the reason why I painted it, and it's what I wanted to talk to you about. And that is, it's not to paint him because you may not necessarily like that style of painting. It's a little on the bold side for me, and I love the passion that he put behind it. But it's to paint something that is different and to get you outside of the box, to get you to paint something that encourages you to take risks, to paint differently than you normally do, because you will always learn something. You will always learn brush strokes or the fact that I painted in the uh, yellow, blue, and red. Normally, I wouldn't put those three together on a painting. Um, the fact that I did the bold white marks in his hair and the bold teeth. I usually do a lot of circles and spirals, and so that was new and different for me. But it's to get you out of the zone of painting like you normally do, to take a chance, to learn something new, because you're going to do marks that are going to be new to you, and those are going to be ones that hopefully you will incorporate into your art down the road. If you continue to paint the same things and you don't expand yourself to paint something new, to try something new, to explore new colors that you normally wouldn't put together, then you are going to stay in the same realm as an artist, which some artists enjoy that. But I want to grow. I want to learn new things. I want to experience new marks and new strokes and new things I put together. So that's what this video is all about. So I hope you keep that in mind when you go through this and I hope you actually do try um, a painting of his and just to see where it takes you if you don't normally paint like that. Because I think it will expand something in you that you normally wouldn't have learned any other way. So let's get going. I think it'll be fun. So I wanted to just attempt to create a um, Jean-Michel Basquiat painting. And while this is not a style that I would on a normal basis paint all the time. I think it'd be kind of fun to, you know, talk about the way that he paints and just recreate. Now he used, from what I can tell, a lot of uh, primary colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some reds and blacks and yellows and he liked he liked bright colors um, he liked um, striking marks he liked to have his art portray an emotion and the current state of what he felt was his state of affairs in the world and in his his world so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in here and use some blues and just get this just get this started and it's it, this is gonna be just my rendition of how I would have, you know, portrayed the way he painted. This is the background. Like I said, he loved using primary colors. So I'm gonna get my, my red is a little 
I'm using high flows, but you can definitely use any types of paints. I'm using a watercolor paper. He primarily, from what I read, painted on walls. He did um, great pieces of art on walls. So I'm going to do like almost like a self-portrait and then I'm gonna let this dry. But I'm doing like a head figure. leave two eyes here but this is a head figure like I said he seemed to like the primary colors a lot So let's let this dry so that we can do the markings. And that's where he seemed to have his forte. Okay, so this is pretty dry. Now let's go in um, and just add some marks. Um,
So I'm adding just uh, marks. Let's see, I'm gonna use something. This is charcoal. I'm doing this because the other is, I wanna make sure I don't ruin it. This is very dark. So let's, let's just, these are like the mind is compartmented. Like the brain has a lot going on in here. There's so much on a painting like this that you can add. I'm just having fun basically. And if you like this type of art, you can really capitalize on this and take it so much further than what I'm going to take it. no and yes just because I felt like it let's see I'm gonna add a little bit of red in his face because he liked the um, primary colors a lot let's put a little red here in his eye <laughs> Still adding some of my marks while thinking about the kind of marks that he may make. I don't know if he did drippings, but I'm gonna do drippings. like the number 56 so let's put that in there 
obscurely. One, two, three. But you get the idea. You can create this piece of art to be as in-depth as you may want it to be or as intricate as you want it to be. Have fun. So the trick here is the background is um, I started with the primary colors and of course added some black in there and some white. Then I just added what I would call like a self-portrait type of a face shape. You can be anything. It can be a whole body. He liked to do um, like the hand, like I said. So let's add a hand in here. So he liked um, adding things like that. Um, I've seen him add on occasion like um, tree pieces. So let's add like a leaf, like a plant in here. Um, in Also within the body, um, I've seen him add inside the head like again like a house but let's add another person like with a hand so it's almost like what is the mind thinking about and that's kind of like what i think he was envisioning in his art it's like what is this person thinking about inside their head at least that's i can't get inside someone's head so let's um I'm trying to stick because this is wet with pieces. This is a charcoal again that I can use. If I use one of my pens, I ruin the tip. I've done that so many times. So I'm using a piece of charcoal on the wet. So let me just keep having some fun here. And at some point I'll stop because I think you get the idea. some of these leaves. So there's a lot of chaos in here. Um, but you get the idea. So I thought you would enjoy this. Um, I, the benefit of working with something like this is to bring yourself out of your normal comfort zone to try other things. Now, I'm learning here a lot of this color, the red down into this green. Now, this green is uh, yellow and black together. I really like this color combination. So, I will write that down on a separate piece of paper because I will use that again. I love that, um, the, the, the way that looks, this color scheme here. So anyway, I will put this, um, I'll display this in like a frame situation and I'll frame it in a room so you can kind of see how much fun this might be. But I hope you give it a try and I hope you let me know that you try this. And I thought it'd be a fun little exercise or a fun little thing to do but it's something I think that would be fun to try. And I may um, go after some of the other artists out there and try to emulate some of their work just to see where that might take us. Open air Side by side we sway there And all the colors 